Hi everyone, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D print creator and this room, what I'm in right now, this is going to be the new studio that I'm building for all my 3D printing and laser engraving and cutting projects. And uh, well, everything is going to be done here in this room and it's pretty big, um, but there are some challenging things. And for one of those things, I just needed to do some laser cutting because that was the best way yeah, to get around with problems that we have here. Now, first let me show you this room. So when I'm going to do YouTube videos, then this will be the position where I will be presenting things. And uh, well, with this extreme backlight, this isn't going to work. But when we made this complete new window, we thought of it and we thought, well, maybe we can make an automatic shutter that goes down and therefore, well, we won't have that backlight anymore. So that is a great thing to make sure that we get rid of all this backlight. Now, I also cut some external lights and well, when they are turned on, then everything is a lot better. Of course, Nothing is perfect yet because we're still building here and uh, well, there are no soft boxes on these lights. But as you can see, this is going to be a great room. If we take a look at this space over here, well, this is where, well, the background is going to be printers and laser engravers. On this side here, we will have the laser engravers. Uh, it will be till around here and there will be three laser engravers which will be permanent in the image. Of course this means that there has to be ventilation. And this is where my problem came and where I said well I need laser cutting to solve this problem. Because now let me explain to you the challenge and the problem that we're having over here. The roof that we are working on and that has the chimneys for the air exhaust or the air exhaust of my lasers, but also the other chimneys for all the other things in my house, like uh, the fire stove, etc., etc. All these chimneys are cut under an angle. And normally, if you would have a flat rooftop, then uh, to get a pipe through it, you would have to draw a perfect circle. But in this case, well, it just isn't a perfect circle. We have to do a different method. Because on the roof, there are chimneys like, like this one. So this is what is on the roof, on top of that exhaust pipe over there. And uh, because it comes in with a rooftop, which is under an angle, well, we have to cut an elliptical shape in that rooftop. Now, normally if you try to draw an elliptical shape by hand, well, that's pretty darn difficult. Because uh, you can draw circles, there are tools for it to draw circles, but drawing ellipses, well, it's, it's more challenging. And when people do it by hand, you will get results like this. This is well, an elliptical shape. And do you think this looks perfect? Well, I don't think so. So, yeah, this is what you get when you draw from hand an elliptical shape and also when you cut it with your power tools, which aren't that precise as well. Now, we laser engravers and laser cutters, we are using tools like Lightburn or Laser Gerbil and it's pretty easy to draw an elliptical shape for us. So, why don't we draw that elliptical shape in light burn and then burn it onto that isolation material that I've got over here. Well, that's pretty easy to do and that's exactly what I did. So I took the plate, uh, which the construction people that are working here gave me, and uh, they told me where the exact center would be of that pipe. Now, knowing the exact center and knowing the angle under which I have to, to mount the pipe directly through it, it was very, very easy to calculate uh, the size of that elliptical shape. 
And with that ellipse, well, it was pretty easy to, to cut it on my laser engraver and then put the pipe through it, like you see over there, and on the other four pipes that are going out of this room uh, to the roof. So I used the Creality Falcon 2 laser for it. And this laser is a 22 watt optical output laser, which is perfect for this job. Now, what makes this laser more perfect than the other lasers I have laying around here is that uh, not only the power is perfectly good, but also the air assist is very good. And with material like this, which is kind of wood material, um, it was very easy to, well, to cut through the wood and also adjust the laser power enough to not cut through the silver foil material that was on the back uh, of that wood, because this is just wood glued to this, uh, yeah, to this isolation material. And uh, therefore it was very easy to determine the amount of power that we needed, and also uh, yeah, to make the direct cut. So a very easy job altogether, and well, that's the result. Now, you have to know that when this studio is completely finished, I will of course do a lot more videos uh, because then it will be easy to film all of them. And uh, well, over there, that will be the laser corner. Right behind me here, this will be the 3D printing corner. And over there, we will do the electronics. This is where my wife and I will be having our desks. And over there, there's the presentation booth, which I'm going to use for my videos. And well, everything is set up like push a button and start the recording. So I think this is going to be a fabulous studio and it will be finished in, I think, well, maybe three weeks, four weeks, something like that. And then you will see so much more content. So if you're waiting for that, well, please let me know and please, follow this channel and I will see you guys later. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.